Okay, this is the very first video of actually enhancing Unity's car tutorial game to actually add things like colliders, finish lines, and to actually give the user or the player a time statement of how long it took them to complete a lap. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to have Unity open and we need to go and create a new game. So we're going to go File, New Project, and we're actually going to go through and in our project location, we have two tabs, Open Project and Create New Project. Have make sure create new project is selected. Under project location, you actually need to choose your directory of where you're going to save it. Now you need to make sure you save it somewhere important that you're going to remember and also somewhere where you're going to back up as well. So I'm just going to store this one in the C drive under a folder called Unity Projects, Game Design Tutorials, and let's just create a new folder called Game 2 Car Tutorial. Once I've created that new folder, I can then come down and select folder. And you'll see that that location is now set to that directory. Initially, we're actually not going to select any packages. We're actually going to go through that process in a moment. So we're going to hit create. From there, Unity is actually going to go through its stages and quickly create that project. And you'll notice that this one is now game two car tutorial, which is what we wanted. And we'll just maximize that one there as well. So the only other thing that we need to do to get this uh, game ready for us is to actually import the package. So to import the package, I've actually created the package for you and you'll be able to access that file. Otherwise, you can access it off the Unity's website. So going into Unity's website, you can actually see, so unity3d.com. Once that loads, you'll be able to select the asset store. And once you select the asset store, if we go into our search bar over on the right, you can just type in car tutorial. That will load a number of different tutorials and assets that we can use. We're going to select this car tutorial one. So if you are at home and you don't have the file, you can actually access this through the Unity's website. Okay, now because we're in a proxy based environment, we actually can't download that off Unity properly. So I've actually supplied you with that package. To actually import the package, we'll go back to Unity and we're going to go to, along our menu bar, we're going to go to Assets, Import Package, and it's going to be a custom package because it's been customly made for you guys. So once we select that, we get our menu popping up and depending on where you save that, currently it's on the desktop for me, you need to find that Unity package file, select it, and click open. From here, it's going to go through its stages of decompressing it. It's like unzipping. And that will take some time. So I'm going to quickly pause the video here, and I'll come back as soon as it's done. Okay, so that has actually finished importing and you're presented with an importing package screen. You can actually go through and select individual components or none of them. We actually need all of them, so just make sure they're all selected. There are quite a few in this package. Once we've done that, we need to go through and click import. Now, this will take some time as well, uh, depending on the speed of your computer. So I'm going to go through and pause it until it's completed. Don't be scared if your Unity closes and then reopens. It is part of that process. So now that that process is complete, you would have noticed a couple of changes. The very first one you would have noticed was in your project window. And you would have noticed that you would have seen the assets line up down the side and including the preview screen on the left, on the right, sorry. And all these different bits and pieces actually make up the car racing game we're going to use. Um, now Unity's actually created this game and we're actually going to add to it. So what I need you to select is in the assets folder, 
you'll see a scenes folder. Click to open that one. And then you'll see two scenes with the Unity icon. So remember scenes are levels. So what level we need to select is the complete scene one. To do that, we can either double click it or click and then select open in the inspector window. So from here, you won't really see too much of a gain. However, if you right click and spin your camera around, you might start to be able to see parts of it. Now we can see through the ground there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and you can see that that mouse pointer changes to an eye. And it's also got this up, down, left and right arrow pattern. Now I can actually press with my right mouse button held down, W, and I can actually fly around and then I can actually see my map. And that's just by right clicking and holding W, A, S and D, depending on the direction I want to go. So what I'm going to do, very first thing, is just to play test my game. So I'm going to hit play. And this will be the only time I actually have the sound in this game, otherwise I'll be able to the system sound. But you can hear how the engine revs and goes through. And you can see that. Crash into things, the camera reverses. And all that will try as you're racing around this game. Is our game. Now we're actually going to modify it to include finish lines and timers and speed gauges and everything along those lines. Keep playing with the game um, just to make sure you're familiar with it and know how the car does control and then get ready to move on to our very next video.